to establish permanent settlement on Mars to enable uh, humanity to, to live on the planet. So right now I am in the middle of the selection process. We have uh, 100 candidates waiting for two more rounds of the selection. Uh, so there will be cut down to 40 and 24 candidates. And then the 10 years of training starts. After 10 years, um, four candidates will go. The most important thing is teamwork. Because uh, when we think about uh, what can go wrong, how uh, if uh, the, the the most risky or the most difficult aspect of entire project is or the biggest problem of entire project is human factor probably we, we are we will sooner or later we will be able to solve all technological problems but uh, the failure can be when for example in the team of four astronauts there's some disagreement uh, and this will be quite stressful so in extreme environment for people will be living, living in confined environment for very very long time to the end of their life without perspective of coming back to earth without seeing their families friends so we have to make sure that the for people uh, who go to mars they are able to be as efficient as possible to deal with all challenges or problems and will not put the risk uh, the mission in the in risk there are many, many ways how uh, the, the entire project will con contribute to humanity because to sustain, uh, to, to survive on Mars, we will have to recycle everything but because we cannot transport from Earth to Mars whatever we need, whenever we want. Uh, this will be the, li the limitation that will drive development of all recycling technology. We will recycle air, water and everything else all wastes because it's cheaper to uh, recycle than take a spacecraft and send something from earth to mars and all these technologies will be later applied in earth on earth in some uh, developing countries where also there's problem with water uh, with where air is polluted